I've, I've lived with enmity from the world ever since 1973 when I became a Christian. Oh yes, I was a babe in Christ and I did a lot of things that, were, that I wouldn't do now. I mean, I wouldn't have diapers and I wouldn't be filling my diapers and I wouldn't be burping on somebody's shoulder and, and puking on somebody's chest. Uh, I wouldn't be gurgling and crying and whatever else anymore. Uh, all those things we, we naturally do as infants in the physical life and in the spiritual life, it's the same thing. So yeah, I, I did a lot of things that, were, that I look back at and I kind of think, well, that's terrible. And yet I, I know that that had to be. But I've been persecuted and hated by all kinds of people throughout my life. But I'll tell you, I'm here and my enemies are not here. I just found, about a, found out about a, another guy who put up a website uh, and, uh, and put much material on there against me, laughing at me. And when, uh, when uh, one of my co-workers uh, uh, was removed from the path of truth, uh, this guy happens to be uh, Smith, Dennis Smith. He, uh, very, very shortly after that, he said, well, it looks like that guy was the backbone of path of truth. The path of truth won't be around much longer. Well, here we are. We're here. I'm here. And his site is gone. He had his site for years. He lost his country. They kicked him out of his country. It wasn't his country, but he was living there in Samoa. He was kicked out of that country. He lost his wife and two children. Where is he now? The site's gone. These are, th this is what happens to people who speak against me. Am I being impudent, arrogant, presumptuous? I'm telling you the facts. I have had several individuals who have come against me. They're gone. They're gone. They're dead. Neighbors. Neighbors in, 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 in at least two locations where we've been working and, and living. They're gone. And, and I marvel at what God has done. I don't have to do any of that. I don't have to take any vengeance. I don't have to retaliate. I don't have to do that. In fact, I suspect that if I do retaliate, it'll nullify or, or neutralize God's freedom to, to move and deal with those people, judge them. If I'm going to judge them, uh, I, might, I might short circuit his judgment of them. So, hey, I want to see them judged, so I just back off, right? That's a good way to do it. But anyway, I'm a friend of Israel. I want everybody to know that. I don't care if Muslims want to come and kill me for it, put out a fatwa, that's their business. Let them come against the Lord Jesus Christ and tell me, you tell me who's more powerful. I know very well he will prevail. I know that they won't. If I'm wrong, if I'm so bad, then let them do what they want with me, okay? But if I'm right, then, then let it be done to them the way that they would have it done to me. I stand on that. There comes a time when it's